five pairs. Oh my goodness. Well, I feel special. <laughs> Michelle here and I'm back to share some yarn goodness with you all today. So today's video I'm actually going to be doing a unboxing of a product that I bought. I'm uh, very excited about this and it is the Parlez-vous Crochet box. It is a do-it-yourself um, crochet earring kit. So this is really really cool and um, I have not opened this yet so we're going to open it together. All right, so I also wanted to say that I'm not sponsored. Um, I'm just a huge fan of her website. And um, yeah, so not sponsored, but I am a fan. I watched one of um, her Instagram lives and she was doing like, a, she was selling earrings and I could not decide on which pair of earrings I wanted to buy. So I thought about it and I was like, why don't I just buy her kit? and then I can make my own earrings, right? So that's what I decided to do. All right, so let's go ahead and open the box and see what we have in here. Okay, let's see. I may not need scissors. Let's see. Use my nails. All right. Ooh, I'll let you all see first. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, what a beautiful photo. Oh, that's awesome. So this is Jamie. Jamie is the owner and I'll uh, talk about her a little bit more, but that's Jamie. This is what you get when you first open the kit. How nice. That is a beautiful photo. <clears throat> Looks like there's some yarn balls in there. <laughs> And flowers, I love that. It's like a crown. All right, so this is a uh, Parlez-vous Crochet Introduce or Presents Crochet Earring DIY Kit, your essential starter box to learn how to crochet hoop earrings. And then it has her uh, shop down here at the bottom. Um, this one points to an Etsy shop, but she does have her own uh, shop now, I think. Well, before I tell you all the wrong thing, I'm just going to put it in the description box below, but I believe it's polyvoucrochet.com, but don't quote me on that. Look in the description box below to make sure. All right. So, um, when we open it up, it actually has the crochet, um, pattern in here, which is awesome. And then on the back, it says where you can find her on Facebook and Instagram and then it has her email address on the back as well. So I don't want to show you all the pattern. However, I will read the insert here. Uh, so she says, um, I am Jamie Preston, owner and creator behind Polyvoo Crochet. I am a crochet artist, maker and designer from New Jersey, now living in Southern California. And it just goes on to show like how she started crocheting at the age of six and uh, she was taught by her great aunt, which is really cool. And uh, so it was something that she started when she was young and then 30 years later, it's a business, which is so cool. And so she also said that she loves to create trendy, simple, bohemian inspired crochet pieces. So in addition to selling the earrings uh, and the earring kits, she also sells like ready to wear uh, products. So yeah, check out her website. It's really cool. Also check out her Instagram. It's really, really cool. And I don't know if you all will be able to see this, but there's a picture of her there in the corner. That's Jamie. All right. So yay. That's awesome. All right. Let's see what else we have in this box. Okay, we have a little card. All right, that's awesome. It's got her social media on there. And all, you know, for me, it's all about the packaging. Packaging is everything to me. And so look at that a little pink sticker. It says, thank you for supporting my small business. I love that. It just shows like care was put into this. All right, so I even hate to like, open it or disturb it but 
because uh, it's packaged so well. Okay, so just lift it up. So we're just gonna lift it up here and we have all these goodies inside. All right, look at all this yarn or thread, I guess you would call it. Okay, so I have my notes. <laughs> and so according to her website, this is a starter kit to get you or your loved one prepared to make beautiful crochet earrings. And in this kit, you will receive four pairs of earring hoops, embroidery thread in a variety of colors. And the color choices may be different, you know, when you get your box. Uh, so the, the colors do vary. And also you'll get one ergonomic crochet hook. I'm excited to find that in here. Uh, you get one embroidery needle and a copy of the crochet uh, pattern. So that's cool. All right, so let's see what kind of embroidery thread we have. All right, oh, look at this purple. Now you all know I love my purple. Look at that. You get two purple ones. So this is embroidery floss by Coates and Clark. Look at that. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is reminding me of my, um, my uh, cross stitch days. Oh, I haven't cross stitched in so long. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then we have these two beautiful, um, almost like a, almost like a chartreuse green. You get two of these, or you know whatever colors come in your box. Looks like you get two of each color, two of four different colors. Look at this blue. Oh my goodness. And one thing I've noticed about all of these is that they're like a variegated color. So yes, this is blue, but it's like all different types or all different shades of blue. And it looks like each one of these is 100% cotton, 8.75 yards, which is eight meters. That's awesome. Yeah. And the last two, I would say this, this could go between a pink and a red, but it's like a variegated pink and red. It's beautiful. So here they are. All right, let's see what else. Ooh, I see some gold things. Look at these. So y'all, I am actually not one to wear large earrings. Um, it would be really cool if she had a kit just like with really, really small earrings for us small earring wearers. But I couldn't resist. I wanted this kit and I knew that the earrings were gonna be huge. Um, I usually wear like studs like this normally, but hey, I saw this kit, I had to have it, and I get to crochet my own earrings, like, that's awesome. Now, I will say that if you are into smaller earrings, um, she does really good, like, Instagram lives, and they're on her website, too, but if you do want smaller earrings, she does have those available. So, oh, good, there's a silver one in here. I am more of a silver person than a gold person. Um, so she's got one large hoop that is silver. And I'm not sure what kind of clasp these are, but I really like them. So oh, I can almost wear this as a bracelet. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Okay, so you can open it up, put this down. You can open it up like a clasp, like that. Probably goes back too. Yeah, there we go, like that. That's so cool. So that's one hoop. And then you have, oh, the gold are in different sizes as well. Okay. So then you have, this is the next size that you have. So these are two different sizes. The big one, then you got another big one. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. All right, and then you have these, and that's, Three more pairs. Wow, you get a lot in this kit. Okay, I think that one. Okay, these are all the same size. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, did I get a bonus? What? Okay, so with this kit, you receive four pairs of earring hoops. So I have one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, five pairs. Oh my goodness. Well, I feel special. All right. <laughs> Very cool. All right. What else do we have in here? Oh, I love this. So it's a, um, a button. 
I have actually been wanting to buy a button from Crochet Luna. I have been on her Etsy shop. I have put a ton of things like as my favorite. I definitely want to buy some because um, she has some really, really good ones on there. Some really funny buttons. And I never really was one that went through the whole button phase. Um, but I have gotten a really nice crochet or knitting bag. It's kind of like a canvas bag. I showed it on the channel um, in another video. And I really do think I want to fill it up with buttons. I'm becoming like that button person now. But this is so cool. It's by Crochet Luna. And it says, yarn, yarn, baby. Oh, it's okay. It's like a play on Ice Ice Baby because it has uh, musical notes down at the bottom. And it's like a record. Like a record that you would spin. And it says, yarn, yarn, baby. That's awesome. And then also in there. If I can get it to move around, there's a yarn needle in there. I hope that you all can see that, but there's a yarn needle. And as much as I lose my yarn needle when I'm trying to weave in ends, this is going to come in handy. So yeah, shout out to Crochet Luna. I like this. And on here it says, for the love of yarn, color, and everything else that makes you happy. And then it has uh, Crochet Luna's Etsy shop as well. Uh, Etsy.com slash shop slash Crochet Luna. Awesome. Ooh, I found the crochet hook. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is small. Now y'all know, if you've, <laughs> if you've been looking at my channel long enough, you know I don't do small hooks and I don't do small yarn. So this is going to be a challenge for me, but it's going to be fun gonna be fun um okay so this is a two millimeter crochet hook I mean oh my gosh y'all I don't even think you can see that that's crazy it does feel good though this handle on this crochet hook what in the world what kind of brand is this I like this crochet hook I mean, it feels good. Like my problem with crochet hooks, two things. Um, one, sometimes they're too short and the crochet hook will like poke me in my hand as I'm using it. I can't stand that. This is amazing. It, it comes, it's like, there's a little overhang in the, you know, it's, it's great. Like this is not going to be uncomfortable. Um, another thing, I love a good bamboo hook, but this feels amazing it's very ergonomic and i'll tell you a third thing i am more of a boy hook person i think i have that right um not so much susan bates but you know i'll crochet with anything um but the the head on this one is in the style of like a boy hook and i love that i hope i got that right i think it's the boy hooks that i, I like if not i'll correct it some way but i'm pretty sure it's the boy hook that i like Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Okay, let me make sure I didn't forget anything else. Okay, y'all, that is awesome. Okay, that is very, very cool. So I am so excited about all of this. And let me go ahead and put this stuff back. It's like I want to start on this as soon as possible. Because the pattern doesn't look that difficult. But I think the part that I'm going to have a challenge with is like, how do you crochet around it and keep the tension on it? Because I feel like my, my yarn is going to be sliding out all, all over the place because I'm not used to using like really fine thread or small crochet hooks, but I am up for the challenge. Um, but yeah, I just want to make sure that mine looks close to hers. I, I know it won't look exactly like her because she's you know the guru on this thing but amazing and I think crochet and earrings is just so cool I you know there are a few people that crochet earrings and I follow them and they're amazing like kudos to them for the small thread and the small crochet hooks because I'm more of a DK worsted type of chick you know I like an H hook I like an eye hook, which is five millimeters and 5.5. 5. 
Um, sometimes, you know, if I'm, I'm really feeling it, if I'm feeling adventurous, I will go with a G hook, which is a, a 4.5, you know, if I'm feeling really adventurous that day, but I'm more of an H and an I hook type of gal. So yes, that is awesome. Okay. So I will keep you all um, updated on my progress with making these earrings and I'm sure my progress will be sprinkled into another video. So I am so excited about that. It looks amazing. And like I said, I will leave the link to her shop in the description box below. All right. So that uh, wraps up that, but I did want to get into a Babadon question. Okay. So today's Babadon question is, are you team grits or are you team oatmeal? Now this is, this is important. This is really, really important. Now myself, I am more of a grits person. Put some butter, some salt, some pepper, and some bacon. Oh my gosh. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now I will say that when I was younger, I ate a lot of oatmeal, a lot of oatmeal. Um, now as an, well, in my adult years, if I had oatmeal, it was like the one that had, it came in the, the, um, the little variety pack and it had like maple syrup or no maple and brown sugar, uh, apple and cinnamon and something else. You know, they had like a little variety uh, pack of them. But I don't know what it is. Now, as I've gotten older, I am not crazy about the texture of a lot of things. I'm all about the texture of food. And if it doesn't quite feel right, no, no, I, I can't. So, um, yeah, I'm really not into oatmeal as much as I used to be as a child. I'm definitely more, much more of a grits type of person now, you know, and <laughs> the way I make grits is not healthy. Loaded up with butter, loaded up with salt. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's a Southern thing or what it is, but let me know in the description box below. Are you team oatmeal or are you team grits? Or maybe you're both of them. Maybe you are. And if you are team grits, let me know how you prepare them. What's your favorite way to eat grits? Ooh, one time I had shrimp and grits. Oh my gosh, that was good. Yeah, that's another way that I like my grits. Mm -hmm. um, but let me know if you are team oatmeal. And if you are team oatmeal, do you eat them like, you know, just plain oatmeal? Do you like fruit in your oatmeal? Or do you, do you buy the variety packs like I, like I buy? <laughs> so let me know in the description box below. All right. So that is everything that I have for you all today. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the links below. And yeah, you all know where you can find me. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Ravelry, Pinterest, you know. Just, just Google it. You'll find it. So thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.